All right, I am back and <clears throat> I pardon my voice. <clears throat> I had a little coughing fit there. You know when the drink goes down the wrong tube? Oh yeah, that was it. Oh man. Oh man. Assyria 13, welcome. Oh man, okay. Let's bring the uh, game audio back in. There we go. And um, let's see, treasure requests. All right, we got to go talk to everyone. Judging by the flared nostrils and furrowed brow, something has upset Jihad greatly. Your grace, I have here one of your subjects. He goes by the name Remus. We caught him spreading false prophecies, sowing fear among your people. The old man before you clad in tattered rags, his gray hair and beard are filthy and matted. Judging by the smell, he's not bathed in some time, perhaps years. You have to fight the urge to cover your nose. Oblivious, the old man picks at his beard in silence, as if trying to catch lice. You're not certain he even knows where he is. Jod straightens his face, flushing. As if it wasn't enough this, Aristotle, forgive my words, prophet, blasphemed against the deities, proclaiming we must bow to some false god. At the mention of God, the old man shudders and his eyes go wild, almost feverish. The goddess will rise from the forest, from the swamps. You've cut down her trees and drained her marshes, but she will take no more of this. Fall to your knees and repent, and she will grant you a swift death. Your grace, you have to deal with this madman. I'm the only sane person in this city, this hideous, ugly city. Its stone buildings claw into the soil and thinks themselves safe, but the sky shall open, the, the earth shall tremble, and this city shall crumble beneath its pride. Aristotle, have mercy. Will you be silent, you fool? And another world shall swallow, swallow the ugly city and its careless dwellers, and only the rain shall weep for the emptiness left in their place. Um, let's see here. We've already met. I don't remember, but I'm going to go with that one. Remus gives you an absent-minded look. It seems he's at a loss. It's up to you to decide this homegrown Eridon's fate. Baroness, I await your command. <clears throat> All right. Um... Wow. Sentenced to death? No, I don't think we'll be going that way. Hmm. Let's talk about the prophecy, I guess. Remus looks at you silently, nervously pulling at his beard. What is this other world you speak of? A different world, fierce and wild, where mountains impale the sky, where rivers change direction, where the very trees talk to the stars. Remus swallows and stares ahead, as though lost. The wild world will consume this city, shape it in its own image. It will be the end of all. Um, how do you know? The goddess showed it to me in my visions. She whispered about a beautiful new world, told me she would heal nature's wounds, but I don't want it. He shakes his fist, threatening someone invisible. She must be stopped. Sacrifices. We must offer up sacrifices. Goats or cows or horses. That'll be enough. It must be enough. Tell me about this goddess. Her fury is like a river after a storm. Her voice thunder in the summer sky. Her touch is cold and sharp as a sliver of ice. She is beautiful as a dream, Remish stutters, then blushes. It's been 40 years since I've longed for a woman, but her... So an angry goddess will lay our city to waste because we drained her swamp? She must be a petty goddess indeed if she takes part in the affairs of mortals even on such an insignificant occasions. Perhaps you simply had a dream and it merely seemed real. Come on, diplomacy check. Woohoo! But, but... Remus's gaze becomes clear for a moment. His shoulders slump and he looks even older now, more tired. Maybe you're right. I, I need to lay down. All right.
praised be Aristotle. Is that a glimpse of reason? I thank you, your grace. You have turned this poor man toward the light. I'll find him a place to sleep and make sure he's fed and sent back where he came from once he wakes. I think we should expect no more trouble and no new prophecies. Jihad smiles and bows, signaling the end of the conversation. <clears throat> All right. Castle? Your Grace, I must inform you, military affairs have begun to take up all of my time, and more than once I have missed overlooked a detail concerning domestic security. Please hire a warden, an advisor who will watch over the safety of your subjects, and I shall continue to carry out the responsibilities of your general. Nice. Castle turns his attention to the map of the Stolen Lands. New recruits keep coming, Your Grace. You must decide where their barracks is to be built. That's the... We need to build our new town in, in the new area that we just opened up. Um, let's see here. Uh, to my mind, it would be best to build both the barracks and their training camps nearby, close to the capital. Many of these youths burn with enthusiasm, but until it's tempered by discipline, they'll never be as good in battle as they would hope to be. I recommend we create camps to train and drill all those who would protect these lands in the future. Uh, we will place the training camps near the capital. Yeah, um, you know what? They're your soldiers. You do it. Then I will order training camps built. Don't worry, I'll make sure the new recruits learn everything as swiftly as possible. Man, this cough is like tickling me now. I've brought a petitioner with me. Lamar Tinch, a famous expert on everything regarding alcohol and the beverages which feature it. Our impatient guest wanted very much to speak with you in person and tell you all about this <clears throat> project. The halfling before you looks young, but his sharp eyes framed by slight wrinkles give way the petitioner's considerable age. Lemaire nods politely, sweeping the floor with his beret and showing off an emerging bald spot. My respects, Baroness. I beg your forgiveness for how boldly I sought our meeting. But I could hardly trust anyone with the fate of my beloved new child, which appeared to me in a waking dream as I walked your lands. You see, I was traveling through on my way to Bravoy, when to my surprise I discovered a most curious detail. It turns out that many spicy and bitter herbs, which I and my colleagues use in our work, grow wild in these lands. Wineberry, goatweed, gentian. Lamar bends his fingers, enumerating the plants, and then waves his hands. <clears throat> These names probably tell you nothing, but to me, oh, for me, this rich list is like a splendid palette, the foundation upon which true masterpiece might be built. Your grace, I once imagined settling in Bravoy, but your lands have truly inspired me, and now my greatest dream is to open a shop in this very capital. With a bouquet you can easily gather nearby, I can easily create a new beverage, true ambrosia for any halfling. Only one thing is holding me back lack of financial resources. I hope that now, upon hearing my request, you and respected treasure will not refuse a humble artisan a little assistance, of course, in exchange for a future percentage. Lamar bows deeply once again. I shall eagerly await your decision. <clears throat> All right. Do you want to hear my opinion? Well, yeah. This business will fail. Halfing alcohol is like fruit juice for the other races. It's nothing like your dwarvish stout. You want to take a risk and put your money on halfling drunkards? Well, it's your barony and your business. But remember, if you give this trader the money he asked for, then tomorrow there'll be ten more at your gate just like him. Um, I don't care for the risk. He makes a very good point. We don't want to make something that's just good for one and like horrible for everybody else. So... Let him know the answer is no. Are we done? All right. Hey, we unlocked any secondary stat of my barony. So let's come here to the table. Doomsayer scares town folk. We took care of that. General requests an audience. That's done. Treasure done. Okay. Advisors. We have a new spot open. 
Warden. The Warden keeps peace in the barony, pursuing those who break the law and protecting those who abide by it. I'm going to go Keston. I have other things for Ekendayo later. All right, Keston, it's on you. So we've got some rank ups. What's this other? Defenders of the land. Plus one morale bonus to attack and damage rolls while fighting within claimed regions. Well, that sounds good. Six days to solve. Castle, get on it. Economy. Training camps near the capital. Oh, crap. Training camps near the capital allow for easier deployment of the military should the need arise. Give Gives the general a plus two bonus for taking advantage of opportunities. Nice. That's pretty cool. And we'll definitely be doing that. Because there's no date on that one. Rank ups. We got treasurer and general. Well, we can't do the general right now, but we can do the treasurer. As long as we don't put him on something else. And that's it. All right, cool. Then let me get crap. Let me get crap, apparently. I need to get those curses rolling here. 24 days to solve. All right, Harem. It's on you. All right, save it. Halfling Brewery provides actually good. Oh. It's good to know now, Rug. Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, and by the way, welcome to the stream. See, I didn't even know. All right, so I'm saved. Yes, I'm going to do it again because I missed it. Good to know. Start the project. Success. Success. All right. One new event. Warden needs your advice. All right, fair enough. As well, clear that out. <clears throat> no, 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 and 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 we want to avoid spoilers, right? We absolutely want to avoid spoilers. But if there's something that I should do. A little like backseat driving is not necessarily a bad thing. Just avoiding the spoiler part of it is uh, is not bad. So yeah, saying hey, you should you know you may want to look at that because uh, there may be some benefit for you down the road. Then at least it makes me take a second thought about it. So all right, Kasten bows hastily and starts talking right away. Bandit attacks continue in your barony. In some places, the people are scared of leaving their houses even at dusk. Not to mention in the dead of night. As your warden, I recommend we double the number of guards. This will allow us to keep the situation under control. I will arm everyone I can and hasten their training. Um, you're the warden. You know what to do. All right. Cool. Spoken! Unfazed by the awkward signs, Boken searches through his bag for quite a while. Finally, he pulls out a sizable brown paper package. There you go, a little something from old Boken. A Serbic ring. Nice. If you ever need anything in particular, just let me know. If you're not sure, I'll go home and think of something myself. Um, I want him to just do what he's going to do. We do need to go talk to him, though. I only hope that no one throws it away or leaves it to rot in some old chest. I wouldn't throw it away. I might sell it. I would never throw it away. What is this ring? 
When this rings wearer attacks with bombs, they deal an additional 1d6 damage. Well, hmm, I wonder who that's going to go to. Oh, look at that. He's got a spot right there for it. Yeah, additional damage on his bombs? Hell yes. All right. Awesome. What is this? Natural armor plus one. I don't think... I think I can... Oh, I should be wearing that. No, yeah, I should most definitely be wearing that. All right. I don't know why I'm not wearing that. That was kind of weird. All right, now what we've we got going on? Oh, just that. Nope. Got two projects here. Laying the foundation. The cost of buildings with a static stability bonus. Castle, Cistern, Courthouse, Dwarven Bastion, Everflowing Spring, Fort, Hell Knight's Castle, Jail. Wow. It's reduced by 10%. Heston. Or we level him up. Now, if we level him up. Hey, Hawk, how are you doing, buddy? Welcome. And to everyone else, all 10 of you, welcome everybody. Hey, you, oh, and by the way, feel free to lurk all you want. Do not hesitate, though, if you do want to jump into the, any conversation. Uh, just jump right into chat. Uh, these guys here, like Hawk, Feintour, even Count Shimmerglow, um, you know, great guys. Uh, the True Flat is meh. You know, I make him a mod just because... But, uh, yeah, no, we've got a great crew here and, uh, all very welcoming. So, oh, okay. Before we do anything else, we need to figure out where we want to put our town way the heck up here. Oh, see, but we've got a spot there. So maybe over here. Got one there. Maybe this spot right here. All right. Hmm. It's not going to be called Tatzel Ford. That's for sure. All right, Mr. Fane Tour. Have a great night, my friend, and I will catch you. Yes, do one more dad joke for the road, and I will even read it out this time. Why is it a bad idea to iron your four-leaf clover? Because you shouldn't press your luck. Nice. Have a great night, buddy. All right, so uh, continuing in our tradition um, of naming the towns after people that have helped my channel over the years. Most all of them are moderators on my YouTube um, and have been very, very supportive of me and helped in many, many different ways, uh, including uh, being patrons, uh, tipping and, and, and all of those things. Um, but, but there is one that, uh, that has actually been, uh, hanging around a very, very long time. And, um, we do, um, want to, want to show our appreciation. So we're going to call this place Hawk Bend. Because we're right on the bend of a river. So there's Hawk Bend right here. All right. All right. We've got 740 BP. Put that down. Got a spawn for a watchtower here. We'll put that down. Better have a bar. <laughs> All right. 
Longhouse, that's an easy one there. And put down a pier. Uh, do, do, do. Plus one to relations. All right, so let's put this here. And then we'll put a barracks here. So it's actually getting both the plus one to espionage and the plus one to relations. Now, of course, the barracks isn't getting its plus one to stability, but that's all right. Um, let's see, what else do we want here? Alright, I'm going to hold off on building anything else right this second, because I want to come over here and visit to see what we're going to need as far as, like, any um, of the, the craftsmen. So, um, I'm going to hold off on building anything else. See how we can synergize, uh, yeah, synergize with it. So. All right. Um, so he is working on rebuilding the Temple of the Elk. How much time do we have left? Forty-nine days. Plenty of time. All right. So Keston, that's six days. I would rather have him here. And yeah, generals doing the art of making friends. And yeah, so he can't do that one. We're not doing that one. Yeah, he's busy. No, that's Jubilost. All right. Um, do, do, do. Hold on. Is there one I missed over here? No. All right. We'll save it. And go. All right. Success. And that's it. Oh, faith and loyalty. Pledge their undying loyalty and support. This opportunity should be seized. Well, we've got... Uh, well, we've got almost a month. But we might as well do it, right? What's the DC on it? DC 16? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter who does it, huh? 